we have added and I mean downloaded these three animations the idle walk and run and as you know that this is just for the basic locomotion of the player okay in this course we will be having more than three animations okay we will have different layers for different type of animation for example we will be having a layer for our rifle for our fist fight and for that hand cannon and for the grenade okay and also we will be having the animations for the parkour as well okay but for now as you know that we are just working on our player basic animations okay or you can say basic locomotion so we will be using just these three animations okay so now first of all what we will do we, we want to create a animator for our player as you know that animator component is attached right here but it needs a controller so inside this player model as you know we have this animations folder in which we will store all of the animations for our player so right here we will create a animator controller for the player and you can name this whatever you want but I will name this as player controller and then if we click on the player let's drag and drop this controller in there now if we double click on it as you can see it will open up this animator window and here is our animator okay so let me just move that up there alright so as you know that we have this base layer right here we will be having the animations for our parkour and then we will create a blend tree for our locomotion for this basic locomotion and also for the grenade the rifle the fist fighting and for the hand cannon as well okay we will be having different blend tree for that for now we are as I told you we are focusing on the locomotion so we will click on this create and in here we will say from new blend tree so it will basically add a blend tree as you can see and if we double click on it it will just get inside this blend tree actually let's name this as basic locomotions okay or you can name this whatever you want but I will just name this as basic locomotions I think I spelled that incorrectly but now it is fine okay so if we click on our basic locomotion right here you will see this blend tree okay and this is the blend tree type since this is just a basic locomotion okay for the player so we will just select the blend tree type which is 1D and in here if we click on this plus sign right here we will select this add motion field okay we will actually add three motion field okay like this okay and as you can see the threshold value for each of them is 0, 0 0.5 and 1 okay if you want you can change this value actually you can just ignore that for now and let's open up the animations okay so as you know that when the threshold is zero it means that the player is not moving so it will be just the idle animation and when the threshold is 0 0.5 then it will be walking and when it is fully one then it will be running okay so now if we save our player right here and actually play the animation as you can see for now the value right here is just zero so now if we try to increase it as you can see the players start walking if it is 0 0.5 or something okay and if we slowly increase it as you can see the player is now running okay so in this way our player will run around in the environment and now we need a parameter okay as you know that it already added this uh, blend parameter which is actually a sorry it is actually a float right here okay this blend is a float so we don't have to create another float variable we just need to click on it and let's change its value to I mean its name to for example movement amount or just movement value okay or you can just name this whatever you want so I will just name this as movement amount and as you can see right here it is automatically changed to movement value okay 
so now if we play the animation and increase the value as you can see now the player is running and when it is 0 0.5 or close to 0 0.5 the player will walk and if it is 0 the player will be just in the idle state and guys let me tell you now about the threshold if you don't like these values you can change them according to your own liking for example you can just set this to for example let's say 0 0.2 so now when the movement value is 0 0.2 okay as you can see the player will walk okay and when it increases from 0 0.2 the player will start increasing the speed okay as you can see okay so in this way you can change the value of the threshold as well but I will just leave this as de default since this is just three animations so the default will be a good value for this okay now we have the basic locomotion tree set up okay idle walking running now let's just I don't know why it is showing this error but I think this is just a bug in unity so we can just ignore that okay it sometime happens so now we have this basic locomotions here now let's just play this animation by using script so if you open up the player script right here let's add a header and in here we will type player animator as a heading and then in here we need a reference to the player animator so we will say public animator and then you can name this whatever you want but I will just name this as animator as well so as you know that our animation will be played according to this movement amount float okay and as you can see right here we use the method dot absolute for the horizontal and vertical and if we see the animator right here the movement value will vary from 0 to 0 0.5 and then the highest value for it will be 1 or you can say the maximum but this method dot absolute will return different types of values which will be greater than 1 so in order to claim them between 0 and 1 unity provide the mathf dot claim 0 1 function so we will use that okay so now this value will be between 0 and 1 or actually you can say this movement amount will now return a value of 0 from 0 to 1 okay so now once that issue is fixed now right here when we say transform dot rotation right down below we will say animator dot set float and as you know that the movement value is a float okay right here in the animator this is a float so that's why we use set float and then we will say movement value and to the movement value now let's assign the movement amount okay that is it now if we just simply save this and get back right here let's assign the animator to the player okay and then let's click on this scene and let's play the game so now as you can see the player is playing the idle animation okay so now if we try to move now as you can see the player is now playing the animation okay the player is now running and if we slowly remove our finger from the W button as you can see the player stop but if you notice there is a gap in the walking if we run and then suddenly stop there is a gap between the animation so we actually want this animation to be smooth so for that what we will do whenever we remove our finger from the W or whatever button okay then we don't want the player to suddenly stop the animation we want the animation to be stop a little bit late so for that right here in the set float we can add more more parameters right here so the 
first parameter is this one the second one will be now the time that how many time later we want to stop the animation so we will say 0 0.5 and then we want this animation to be time dependent so for that we will say time dot delta time and this will now make our animation smooth okay and actually let's increase the player move speed as well to for example 6 save the script get back to unity and if we click on player also make sure that you change the movement speed right here to 6 as well that is it now if we play the game again as you can see the player is playing the idol okay so now if we try to move as you can see the player is moving and if we stop now as you can see the animation is smoother okay as you can see he stops for now the player doesn't have any collider so he can walk between the walls but now as you can see the animation is now a lot more smoother okay and you can mess around with this value to make the animation smoother for your own game this value might be different for your own so just change this according to your own game and right here actually let's change the value to 5 the movement speed value and right here as well in the inspector so now if we check it out okay so now it is okay okay now the player moves perfectly fine okay so now as you can see the player is playing the animations and now as you saw that our player doesn't have any gravity or the collision okay the player now can walk between the walls but we actually don't want that we want to add gravity to our player and also we want to add the collision to our player so that the player doesn't walk between the walls okay so in the next video we will do that let's end this video right here